Hey guys, John Loxley here, back with our blind playthrough of Dishonored, the Brigmore Witches. Let's, uh, let's continue. All right. <clears throat> right, so... That guard is there, the logbook is there. Um, but I can't get there yet, and I might be able to get past that guard. I don't know if that door is... Like, what the deal with it is. It's probably closed. Good. Okay. I don't suppose I can blink while holding people. Keep the hatters away from the eels. The one in section D, cell 11, tried to attack that former dead, ear, dead eel leader again. We can't afford any additional investigations or mistakes right now, so keep them apart. Will that open? Hard to say. And yes, I can blink while holding someone. That's awesome. I don't know where that other guy went, but it's... Hopefully he's not awake. That would be a real... Not good thing, you know? That would be bad. That would be bad. Okay, uh, right. Uh... Mission clues. Hatter in cell D11 wants Lizzie Stride dead. Is that good? I mean, what happens if I open D11? Because my task is to break her out. I have no idea if that should, if I should open the cell or not. Presumably it might cause a distraction. I mean, that would be good, I think, but who knows if anything would actually come of it, you know? Well, it's not good, I'll tell you that much. He burned. Uh, let's see, where is the rune? Right here, boom, rune. In get lots of money, that's important. Lieutenant Wright, the hatter we brought in was trying to stash this loot in the canal when we busted him. Looks like he's the one who hit who hit Lord Bramon's carriage a few nights back. So far he has not named his accomplices, but he will but he will once he gets his turn in the interrogation room, so I guess that was him. Document everything and then deliver it to the Lord Regent's office and make sure nobody gets lost along the way, or it's both our heads. Document request. Dear Officer Ashfield, I would like to most humbly request access to document documents concerning the new experimental choke dust, which you may have recently found yourself in possession of. I understand this is a delicate subject matter, and I assure you every precaution will be taken with the documents to ensure they remain confidential. If access to these documents is agreeable to you, please have one of your men deliver them to my cell. Respectfully, your friend in A25. Oh, that was one of the favor things. Okay, 825. So we can open that. Interrogation log 425. Ex excerpt from interrogation logs at Coldridge Prison. Month of Nets. Uh, let's see. Goal. Prisoner, whoever. Location of collaborator in theft of goods. Method heated metal bolts applied to feet. Outcome promising response at first, but the subject lost consciousness due to shock. 
uh, prisoner goal confession of vandalism method sleep deprivation outcome disorientation subject falsely confessed to crime as well as other unrelated acts oh so you wanted them to falsely confess got it uh, prisoner ate something goal location of weapon cache tied to attacks on river patrol checkpoints method water tank outcome tank mechanism malfunction subject drowned prisoner four goal name of conspiracy organizer method engagement with phobia spiders subject of all the information divulge the information before the hatch to the spider basket was even opened so one success out of however many pouch brigmore chest key and that's kind of weird that you can just automatically hide under stuff but ooh, a little disorienting is she strapped in right good doesn't look like much does she comfortable all right we'll get this done let's start with how you got into dunwall tower in the first place was it one of the servants that let you in one of the guards nothing all right corporal use the hammer that's right the smaller one <laughs> huh. can't really tell if she felt that don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears? What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot! Okay. Yeah, so she was a witch. And I guess she burned to death and caused all the trees to grow? I don't know. Is there something up here? Like, is there a reason we can... You know? Uh, I don't see anything. It's like a vertical shaft. There's a bone charm in the distance. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's back out this way. And bullets. Bullets are good. Oh, I'm good on bullets. Right on. So I guess the only way is this way then. There's a rat. All cells in section B are under quarantine until further notice. Oh, right, 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 right. Prisoners who have been transferred from section B will be observed for signs of That must have been the hatter. Let's try opening that door and a 25. A25 and D11, I believe. Oh, and wait, can you just get up there? Oh, let's, uh, let's do that then. I still don't know what her room is, but at the moment, I think we could just do D11 and A25. Let's do A25 first. A. A25. Set. Okay. I better make a pass over here. Yeah, you know, that's. And then, uh. D11. All right, that probably should have done something. Question is what? There was a guy arguing with a guard over there, so maybe that's the... Can I get up here? Let's hope so, don't fall, please. Okay. I never like falling to my death. Oh, but, okay, so that's D. I never think I'm going to be able to get onto those things. All prison personnel will stay clear of the interrogation room until the representative from the Abbey has certified it is free of any heretical corruption. Right. Okay, that's D11. What is that one? D03? 
Maybe I can release more people. Cause myself a little, um, diversion. Also, I'm gonna stay... Stay sneaking, because I don't know if the dude below me wants to hear, uh, you know, footsteps. Right on. Okay, well that was something. Um, All oop. cells in section B are under quarantine until further notice. I see. Prisoners who have been transferred from section B will be observed for signs of infection. All right, so how do I get... Hmm. Keep your eyes open. Possible escaped prisoner. This is getting old. Stay sharp. The inmates are agitated. Something's not right. Shit, again? That's a lot of rats, dude. That one's sealed. Is this a second floor? I guess you're probably supposed to go in here and then just... I know there's two of them. Let's maybe talk to this dude. or arc pylon is for use only by personnel trained in proper imprinting procedure. Okay, what do I do with this guy? Can I talk to him? Looks like I guess I just choke him out maybe or something? I don't know. Look I, shot. We got a problem. I probably... <sighs> I could kill him, but... I was worried I was going to fall on that one. Maybe this goes somewhere. More rats. Other guards. So it looks like... Oh! Nope, 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 nope. No. Okay, guard down. Guy over there. Guy down here. Look out. We got someone skulking around. Yep. Oh, come on. No. Well, that didn't work out. Oh, crap. Man, they're really good at dodging. Also, I suck. I'm dead. Man, it's like... I fell and I was trying to attack, but I missed my opportunity, basically. I'm kind of annoyed. Oh man, how far back am I? Really? Well, okay then. Okay, A25. And the chest key, which is... You know? Like, what is that? Like, does that go somewhere? Yeah, I'm hearing stuff, too.
Okay, well, I was trying to go into the pipe. Not there, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. All right, well, let's, uh... Let's open some doors. Not D11. I figured that's probably going to be a bad move. But we'll do A25, and we'll do... Uh, D03. Go for a dude. He just got killed right there. Well, that works. All cells. Are Direction B are under quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred from Section B will be observed for signs of infection. Oh, let's talk. Okay. Ah, I thought it was you. What's the infamous Dow doing at Colbridge? I heard Lizzie Strides here. Is that right? Come to kill her then? Yes. We'll lie. Yes. Of course you have. She's shackled in cell A21. Top level far wall. They gave her a good beating. They have a mechanism controlling all the cell doors. It's in a room over the center yard. Cool. Why, uh... Okay. You know. How do I get back over there is the question. Um, oh, hey, it's far enough. Don't fall, please. The Sokolov radio interdiction device or is for use only by personnel. Nobody's making rounds. Cool. Why wouldn't he talk to me though? I mean, I opened the door and he's just like uh you know. Okay, which one was it? A21? Uh... Oh, hang on. Mission clues. A21. Lizzie Stride. You think, um... Wake Lizzie Stride. That's interesting. Oh, hang on. I better make a pass over here. No, don't make a pass over there. No one wants you to make a pass. So I guess the next question is, if he sees me escaping with Lizzie, is he going to freak out? Is he going to be like, guards? That would be kind of interesting. What do you mean, again? Uh, maybe I can go up. All cells in Section B are... ...quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred from Section B will be observed. Yeah, let's, um... ...for signs of infection. Oh, except you can't get around. Oh, but this one you can. You can Why go through this way. Making rounds over here. Stay sharp. The inmates are agitated. Something is not right. Interesting. No Sleep dart. Oh, but I Die. need the guard post key. Uh, 
where would the guard post key be? Ooh, that's a lot of rats. Yep. Oh, hey there. Oh, look at that. He's got the key. Problem is I have to go down and then up. He's got a key also. I would wager that I probably can't open that door. Why is no one making rounds over here? I might be able to. What do you think? <coughs> yep. I just need to borrow you for a minute. There you go. Guard post key. And we'll, uh, just in case. Indeed. Supposed to be on duty over here. Don't worry about it. Where's this dude? Where did he go? Corrupted charm, 43, whatever. Seriously though, isn't there another dude? Oh, okay, there he is. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could shoot him with uh, a sleep dart. Nope. Don't worry about it. Oh, is he still just going to come this way? Uh, maybe he'll stop. Go right there. Okay. That was weird. It's always weird that it doesn't, uh... Ammunition locker key. There you go. Which one's A25? Is it below me? Below me? No, that's C. Maybe that's A. That's the A. Okay. Lizzie Stride, interesting. Lizzie Stride. She's in rough shape. Yep. Yeah, it's below me, though. That noise. Cards. Yep. Oh, guard post key. Well, how am I supposed to... Never mind. Okay, don't need... Oh, corrupted charm below. That's fine. Okay, well, what is that? A tripwire? Let's talk to her. Wake up, Lizzie. I'm not telling shit. Wait. She sharpened her teeth. Down. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now belongs to someone else. My second-in-command double-crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. All right, she's woken up. I guess I just pull this. And then what? Yeah, I think I. Um. Oh, okay. That I have to carry her out. Yep. Makes sense. All right. Well. Yeah, die. 
Okay, I mean, there is the Corrupted Charm. I kind of want to go for it. But, you know, it's extra risk, and I'm not sure I'm willing to take that risk. All prison personnel will stay clear of the interrogation room until the representative from the Abbey is certified it is free of any heretical corruption. Yep. No heretical corruption. Corruption is bad. Rat. Damn you. Wait, what? Oh. I thought he was saying die or doubt. Oh, we're gonna... Okay, I think that'll put us on it. Christ, it's hard to see. There we go. Okay, so I still have to get past all the guards and everything. And I think there's still one out there. Let's save. Honestly, the teeth sharpening thing is kind of cool. Oh, man, I know there's someone out here. I just don't know where. There. Okay. I probably can't choke. Oh, he's coming this way. Crap. Is he going to see her? <clears throat> okay, you idiot. Time to check. Oh, what? No. Die, damn it. Why is no one making rounds over here? On the plus side, where did he come from? Look sharp. We got a prowler. Also, Lizzie kind of looks like someone out of, uh... Oh, I don't know why I just didn't go up there and across. That was stupid. Didn't want to do that. Wanted to do the, the jump. It was up there somewhere, right? Right, okay, here. Good. Oh, of course. Yeah, I could have just, uh, you know, gone this way. Well, that was silly. What? Oh. Device or uh, what the f? Only by personnel trained in pro yeah, that's the arc pylon. That's a hell of a range. Wait. <sighs> okay. Well. Maybe we can just go back across and out the other way instead of worrying about... Or we could just go up this way and across here. Uh, no, let's, let's try going across. Well, you know what? That's the thing I hate about... Sorry, I don't want to do that. Ah, screw it. We'll just go across the, this way. That's kind of where we're at already. It's annoying, and I'm not quite sure how the arc pylon hits, but, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, can I just go out that way? Let's see. 
Let's see. Let's see. I feel like maybe I can shove myself through. No. I'm scum. How do you know I'm scum? Don't judge me. See, I wish I could stay here and let it fire and run itself out. Is it out now? It might be out. Okay, if that's the case, it's good. Let's try, uh... device or arc pilot is for use only by personnel trained in proper imprinting procedure and see all the guards are back what happened to that I'll find you you hagfish don't call me a hagfish it hurts my feelings oh I'll find you Uh, okay, so... I know you're here somewhere, scum. Oh yeah, I guess we could just go out that way. And hopefully not get seen by that dude. I'll flush you out. Please don't. Alright, uh... Right. I'd be really annoyed if they put dudes, like, down here, you know what I mean? That would kind of bum me out a little bit. But I think we're doing alright. Oh, let's, uh... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, lady. I wanted to put my hands away without, you know... Beaten, but not dead. See that her wounds get attention. It will be done. All quiet, sir. Ready to go? Yes. Let's go. I feel like that mission went well. Achievement unlocked breakout. Hostiles killed one. Dead or unconscious bodies found one. Overall chaos. Current total is low. Good. Good. Yeah, Corrupted Charms found zero, you know, points found. I always find about half. I don't know why. I wonder if that's just because there's like little coins scattered all over the place. Uh, that's a possibility. Hostiles killed one. I got pretty close to didn't kill anyone. That would have been good. Traper's Ward. The dead eels. With Lizzie's stride free, you have a captain to take you upriver. Unfortunately, Lizzie's second-in-command, Edgar Wakefield, is running the old gang and won't hand over the ship without a fight. Deal with the traitor Wakefield and help Lizzie get her ship in working order. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's Ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where Two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. All right. I mean, if I go to Edgar and he's like, hey, kill Lizzie for me, and Lizzie's right there. Kill Lizzie and I'll take you up river, I'll be like, sorry, Lizzie. You know, it's, it's, it's about expediency. Okay. Favors. 
Sunken crate. Allied whalers will dump a crate loaded with supplies overboard near the Undine. You'll have to dive to retrieve the contents. Screw that. Uh, the hidden rune. A tunnel dweller has been bribed to bring a rune from the depths of the Dunwall storm drains and place it within reach of the surface. So it's underwater as well, maybe? Uh, we'll, we'll purchase it. Gift from Abigail Ames. Abigail Ames is contacting you through her network. She's offering a bone charm that might be useful to you in exchange for a small fee. We'll do that. And then uh, upgrades. We're going to want boot stealth. Reduce footstep sounds. See, that, that first level felt more like a normal Dishonored level. You know? A couple different ways to get through the different areas and, and this and this and that. It felt good. It, like, it was fun to play. Compared to the first level of the Knife of Dunwall, which was... Uh, you know, granted, maybe I shouldn't have gone the High Chaos route. But, you know, that's what happens, I guess. Uh, okay, so we'll do Boot Stealth. And then uh, that should be fine for now. I don't have too much in the way of money. A stun Mine. I could upgrade Bone Charm capacity. Two additional Bone Charms. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. If they have people doing it, Abigail's gift, Riverfront. All right. I know it probably just saved. However, okay, eliminate the dead eel mutineer. Hidden rune and a bone charm. Let's take a look at powers. What do we have? We have six runes. That's pretty dang good. Uh, agility might be best. Jump height is increased, which would be good. Pull inanimate objects. Vitality. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's since we have all this stuff. Ooh, that takes four. Yeah, but this ability is only useful if you've purchased the powers you intend to share with your assassins to get the maximum benefit wait until you've purchased each power that can be shared before buying that level of arcane bond yeah yeah it's more for like fighters and stuff so you can summon assassins and they can use your skills let's uh let's go with agility at least the first one you can jump higher by holding a how oh, much higher Oh, jeez. That's crazy. That's awesome. You're a bunch of mudlarks and hagfish all at the same time. Ooh, drinking from fountains restores a small amount of health. Yes. Max mana increased. Eh, you know. Choking is faster. Yeah, that one I appreciated. After choking all those dudes the last uh, level. And then uh, overall movement speed. I mean, that might that might be handy. Then time. Lost two runes. We'll hold on for a second because this might be. Yeah. Rush aware for a lethal strike. Anything coming to physical contact is pulled and moves faster briefly. Just a bunch of okay. Well. So how am I supposed to get out of here? Maybe just wait for them to stop? Yeah. 
Can I? Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You saw me? Well, I mean, yes, obviously, but I thought I was supposed to, like, get on the thing. So I assume he'll attack. Like, that's just my my guess. What? What, what? Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I'm hitting the roof, I guess. That's really, really annoying. There we go. Using that agility. All right, Abigail's gift, hidden rune. We need to go that way. Going that way. Can I walk along this thing a little bit? Okay, good. I figured I'd do this so that I didn't slam into the side of the building, because that's never good. And I might be able to... Oh, hang on. Yeah, agility. Awesome. But I probably can't go up there. No. Now the question is, can I get over there? The answer is, I doubt it. But I might be able to jump out and blink. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Well, I'm not uh, quite sure what happened there. Was it because I fell? I don't know. I'm a little bit annoyed, though. Come and get me. Or won't your mommy let you? I thought you were done fighting. Who are you talking to? Oh, never mind. They're fighting. Where? Uh, okay, well. That's definitely something. It's cool, I'm just eating garbage. Not a problem. Riverfront is that way. The rune is down there, but... See, this is not great. Because, like... It's all open and I can't really do anything. Uh, they're fighting somewhere there, I suppose. Let's just see if I can just sneak. I admit, I'm stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was a hard part. But I have no idea how to open it. What are you talking about? Hammers? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers will break it open? Explosives. Sure. The sound brings... Oh, the safe? Then we gotta share. And what if it calls some in? There must be a way. Think what could be in there. Oh, we gotta go down. Choke dust. Oh yes, there you go. What do you think I am? Um, yeah, you know, okay. Could I? Are you kidding me? Just like that? Did that work? All right, I guess so. Well, I got my stuff back, and then uh, K 
key required, of course. What is this? Ox rush flower. Another uh, rare ox rush flower is prized for its medicinal and alchemical properties. Right, so you use it to make a rune, I suppose. Abandoned vault key. Well, there you go. That's kind of cool. Only a hundred coins, though, but I'll take it, you know? Okay, watch out for the rats. We got a uh, river crusts. That's right. Rune. Warning from an anonymous friend. Hello, friend. As instructed by your whalers, I've dredged this horde thing up from the depths of the storm drains and placed it in the agreed-upon location in hopes that you, and only you, recover it. But be warned. Poor fortune has followed me every step of the way since laying hands on this thing, and I am overjoyed at the prospect of leaving it here and being done with it. May it treat you better than it has me. And if some unlucky local has stumbled upon this wicked bone, heed these two warnings. As I have said above, your poor fortune will find you, but more importantly, this is intended for delivery to the most dangerous man in the Empire. If you are in possession of something he wants, you may count your remaining hours on one hand. That is true. All right. Any other things that I can take? Where am I going? There's the riverfront. There's another bone charm. Oh, let's go over here. Okay, the agility is pretty awesome. Oh, and more coins. Oh, and another coin down there. Well, that's kind of crap. Oh, yes. Man, that's... Ah! There we go. Got it. Little bit weird. Little bit weird. The jumping and all that, I mean. All right, so we're across. Bone charm, Abigail's gift, riverfront. Let's just go this way. Half the city's dead. We won't make it three more months. <laughs> Whoa. Well, okay. Oh. Oh, hey. Mm. Yeah, let's talk. Actually, can I? Welcome to the Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale. Or the Black Market, if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? Tell me what strikes your fancy. Um... I mean, a rewire tool. Oh, right, I never picked it up in the last one. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. we'll buy one just in case. But he's got a key. Oh, they're rotten, but they still give <coughs> vault key. Okay, yeah, he's probably gonna. Is he going to freak out if I take it? He might. Uh, Jerome, search for Ox Rush. Hello, Griff. I hope your business is going well. If you're interested, I have a little business proposal for you. The canal here in Draper's Ward has been dry for some time. Enough time for the prized Ox Rush to take bloom in the mud. None of the ruffians... Uh, patrolling this area know how special the flower can be, so I have no competition in harvesting them. But none of the alchemists or natural philosoph uh, philosophers that can use them frequent this district anymore. Perhaps I can send you some bunches of ox rush to ox rush, ox rush to pedal for a commission, of course, and I can help you tap into an ammunition. Um, wow, I can't talk. 
help you tap into an ammunition market here in Draper's Ward. The gangs have gone into full-scale war, so demand is high. Let me know your thoughts. Jerome. How did it pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. Unknown. But I'm going to take that jewel. Oh, I see. Interesting that the uh, the gift was left in a safe that you have to get. Still New bone charm. Let's see what it is. Swift shadow. You move forward slightly faster while in stealth mode. I like that. And uh, your weapons are sheathed. Your speed is boosted. We'll take that off and do this one instead. Hoping that just in general. Oh yeah, we do move faster. All these rats crawling all over everything. Indeed. Oh and. Treasure. Treasure. Okay, where am I going? This guy, at the waterfront. Riverfront, whatever. You know, one of those. Oh, coin. Okay, there's people doing their thing down there. Pass me by. All the others down with the sickness. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, what I do know... Is there's man, you'd think the rats would attack that person. And then there's a dude right there. Oh yeah, let's go out this way. Maybe how did it pass up? me by? The others We're losing business. I understand doing what's got to be done. Lizzie kept to a deal when she made it. She wanted to she... Oh crap, here we go. Uh, let's use more choke dust. Somebody... <laughs> well, sorry. You understand, though. Bullets. Complaints from a dead eel guard. This post is awful. I almost broke my neck getting up here and all day the hatters keep taking shots at me like I'm some kind of carnival game. This morning I saw some lady up on the glass roof across the canal and it kind of has me worried. I think she looked right at me. How'd she get up there? Are the hatters recruiting ladies now? Anyway, since she's been up there, I can barely make out this thing she left behind. Can't tell what it is from here, but come nightfall I might just climb up there and have a look. Gotta be aware of that arc pylon they set up down there. If they have that kind of gear, we're just outmatched. I wish Lizzie was back. She'd get us out of this. Yes. History of Draper's Word. Oh, hey. Is that what? Okay, I heard the rune. There's a grenade, I guess. That's a grenade. It's hard to say. How did it pass me by? And, right, let's, uh, we'll read the history of Draper's Ward real fast, um, or slowly. Uh, let's see, this chapter will focus on, focus on the once lavish Draper's Ward. Before the reign of the Caldwin dynasty, the locale had none of the prestige that it has so recently enjoyed. Draper's Ward was once a simple manufacturing hub for fabrics and textiles, exporting raw weaves to all corners of the empire. Water-driven mills turned day and night to meet the needs of the rapidly expanding cloth industries. For decades, Draper's Ward supported a modest trade until key manufacturers began re relocating factories to Circonas and Morley. The price of labor in these places was much lower, and the limited availability of Dunwall Riverfront property, which was required to turn the mills, made expansion of operations impossible. At the end of this period, declining production in abandoned factories created an opportunity for a new generation of skilled and ambitious industrialists. A loose confederation of clothing merchants, including such luminaries as Percy Oliver, Ag Agatha Chesney, and Mortimer Hatt, established a new model of business, high-end clothing that was designed to appeal to Dunwall's elite, sold at a substantial markup. Hmm. Good coffee. The best sartorial designers from across the empire were lured to the boutiques of Draper's Ward. 
where they found themselves freed from the need to solicit patrons. In fact, they were elevated to high society, courted, and pampered. The powerful and influential began to frequent the new draper's ward, paying any cost to be seen in the latest styles. The district was wildly successful. Extravagant wealth and luxury among the proprietors and designers became the norm. But not all was glamour and fun. Reinventing Draper's Ward was an expensive project, and investigations into the sources of capital funding this re- uh, into the sources of capital funding this revitalization often led to dead ends. It was commonly whispered that Mortimer Hatt had been a ruthless gang leader, gang leader in his early years, and it was a very poor secret among the City Watch that he still commanded a private army of hardened men that would protect his interests. A terrible truth emerged over time. While the designers and merchants held court in exclusive boutiques, the mills and factories that produced the clothing were houses of suffering and abuse. Despite the coin generated by their business, the workers who stitched the garments never took part in the flow of wealth. Instead, hats men enforced brutal working conditions on them. As this corruption intensified, with violence occasionally spilling out into the open streets, the well-to-do declined further invitations to shop at the boutiques. Businesses fell precipitously, and now with rumors of a plague looming on the horizon, the golden age of Draper's Ward may soon be at an end. Okay, how do I get around there? The answer is... I don't know. Is that what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get up there. There's definitely something up there, though. What? Uh, well, hello. Let's try this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was not, not good. We want to try the jump or the, uh, the blink. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's saved, so that's good. In the meantime, let's try this. Okay, I don't know if that's a... something. Okay, well, you didn't uh, you didn't freak out, so that's a good sign. Let's talk to you, the dressmaker. Who are you? Are you with her? With her, Delilah. Are you with her? No, but you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins. You see, I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo. And damn Delilah. Okay. Well. I'm gonna take your bread. Uh, and your coins. I don't know why the, the chair. Okay. Right. New rune added. 
A note from Lady Boyle. My dearest friend, my costume ball will require three tailored outfits that are perfectly matching, except for color. We are going to play a game with our guests, you see. I'm saddened to hear of your deteriorating hands and the hard times on which you have fallen, as you are my first choice to craft these costumes. I will mention your physical difficulties to my doctor at the party. Perhaps he can be of some service to you. Farewell, Waverly Boyle. By the way, if you have arthritis, look into... Cryotherapy. Supposedly it helps. It might not help, but supposedly it does. The sad thing is it's kind of expensive from what I understand. We won't make it three more months. Oh, that's creepy. Creepy doll. I can tell so much about a person by their clothes. Yours tell quite a tale. That is true. Okay, so we're going pass me by. This way. The others down with the sickness. We'll, uh, you know, we'll stop here. Because it's about time. Is it the mission? All right. <clears throat> well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes as well. This, yeah, I'm having fun. This is, um... I, I mean, I like it better than the previous one. Maybe it's because of the blink. Maybe because I feel like I'm a little bit more stealthy. Also, why does Dowd... I mean, like in the first one, in the original campaign, Corvo was just getting his powers. Dowd has held them for a while. You'd think he'd be a little bit stronger and, uh, you know, have found runes and stuff. You know, just saying, but... Anyway, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's a little bit silly. Um, just doing some laundry. Just a little bit of, of housekeeping today that I haven't, um... That I've been putting off. So... You know, I put the, uh... Because of the cats, I have blankets on the couch. And, uh, you know, I haven't done them, like, recently. So, they have cat hair on them, and it's nice to finally get them in the wash and, and get them clean. I mean, they're clean, but they're just covered in cat hair. You know, so. But that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.